Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the not implemented error in Microsoft Outlook in your Windows machine. Now, you might come across this error message when you try to send an email or accept an invitation or when you're trying to reply to an email, you might see this error message. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what you would need to do is you need to go ahead and end processes for Microsoft Outlook. So, the best thing what you could do is you could go ahead and close Outlook and at the same time you can do a right click on the start button and then look for task manager so with this what we are doing is we are trying to make sure the Outlook processes are closed in your application and then click on details under details look for outlook.exe it would be in alphabetical order in case if you don't see outlook.exe you don't have to worry in case if you see outlook.exe what you could do is you could do a right click and then click on end task with this what will happen is it will end the outlook processes on your computer now once this is done the next step what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and rename the send and receive settings or send and receive file for the send and receive settings that is basically dot srs file now to delete this file what you need to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type percentage app data percentage and hit enter now normally this most of the computers wouldn't have the hidden files and folders enabled on the computer now as soon as you take you to this location you will have to make sure the hidden files and folders are enabled on the computer to do this you can click on the three dotted lines or you can click on options so it depends on what version of windows you're using so in case if you see a three dotted lines you may go ahead and click on three dotted lines otherwise you may go ahead and click on view and then option and then click on view under view make sure you have the box checked for show hidden files and folders once you have checked this box click on apply and then click on ok with that you will have to open the microsoft folder double click on microsoft folder and then open outlook folder with this you will see a file which says dot srs now in case if you are not seeing the extension uh, there's another step what you could do is you will have to enable the file extension so for that you can go ahead and click on the three dotted lines or ellipses and then click on options then click on view and under this section you can uncheck the box which says hide extensions for known file type in case it is checked you will not be able to see the extension so uncheck it click on apply and then click on ok and then you should be able to see the file extensions for your computer or for the file now once you have this file all you need to do is you may go ahead and select all the srs file outlook.srs in case if you have multiple go ahead and delete those multiple that will not uh, do any harm to your computer not to your outlook basically what it will what it contain contains is it contains the settings for your send and receive for the outlook so you can go ahead and do a right click and delete once you have deleted this you can close this window and uh, open outlook and see if you're getting an error message in case if you're not getting an error message well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step uh, what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to run outlook in application safe mode so basically with this what you would be doing is you would be disabling all the applications or the add-ons associated with the outlook so to open outlook in safe mode you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run or else you can press windows and r key simultaneously on your keyboard and that should open run window once you have the run window you will have to go ahead and type the command outlook space forward slash safe and click on ok with this your outlook should open in application safe mode so once this is done what you will have to do is you will have to click on file at the top top left corner and then click on options once you click on options and then click on add-ins under add-ins click on com add-ins click on go make sure all the add-ins are disabled for your outlook so in case if there are any add-ins associated with the outlook you may go ahead and disable it and in case if you don't find it useful and um, that's something which needs to be removed you can select them and then click on the remove the add-in so once that is done you may go ahead and close outlook window try to relaunch outlook and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still seeing this problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and create a new profile for your outlook to do this you will have to open control panel so you can do a right click on the start button and click on run and in the run window go ahead and type control click on ok so this should open the control panel on your computer now in case if you are on a category view switch to a large icon or a small icon for the demonstration let me choose large 
large icon. Now, once you're on this view, you will have to go ahead and look for mail icon. So it would be in alphabetical order. Click on it. This will open a small pop-up pop window and then click on show profile. Now, basically, you might have one profile here. You will have to go ahead and choose the profile which you're currently using. So you to identify what profile you're using, you would see that always use this profile. So based on this, you will have to go ahead and select the profile. Click on copy and then click on new profile name. You can give a new profile name uh, anything for the demonstration let me give new profile name as outlook new demo it can be anything you can choose any name of your choice and click on ok once this is done from the drop down also choose the option which says what profile which you have created in my case I created outlook new demo make sure always use this profile has been uh, selected for the new profile which you have created click on apply and then click on ok close this window now what we are doing here is what we have done is um, we have created a copy of the old profile with this now you, sh you can try launching outlook and uh, see if you're getting any error message basically it should not you should not seeing this error, error message so this should definitely fix a problem now in spite of trying this and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go to repair your microsoft office to do this you may have to open the programs and features window to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window go ahead and type app .cpl. click on ok this will open the programs and features window in this list you will have to go ahead and look for microsoft office it would be in alphabetical order in case if you have office 365 in that case you would see office 365 listed here in case if you're using the older version you, uh, you will have to choose the version what you have currently using and then click on change in case if you get a user access this control prompt you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen now here you would see two options here how would you like to repair your office now in case if you're connected to the inter internet make sure you choose online repair in case if you're not connected to the internet make sure you uh, connect your computer to the internet and go ahead with the online repair now if there is no option for you to go ahead with the uh, connecting to the internet then you can go with a quick repair now online repair would definitely fix the problem because what it would do is it would go ahead and replace any corrupt files which are uh, currently existing on the computer once you choose online repair then click on repair close this window restart your computer and then try to launch outlook and this should definitely fix the problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great